stars made me do it and happy holidays holiday edition (laughs) we have all three of us coming at you to make your holiday season even sweeter even brighter light and fluffy fun little episode yeah yeah i just had i just had the like idea of the um stars made me do like the jingle at the beginning of the episode but with jingle bells oh I don't know. We gotta up our budget. So. <laughs> <laughs> up our budget from zero. <laughs> so support so. our Patreon. <laughs> yes, thank you. Ne- next segue. year we'll hit. But next year we'll hit you with jingle bells. Or maybe this year, I'll hit you both with jingle bells. Merry Christmas, Martha and Mimi. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hit us up on Patreon. We've got weekly exclusive episodes every Wednesday. But for the most part, we're just here to hang out with you the day that this episode comes out. Obviously, it is Christmas. We're here in support of all holidays and it's the holiday season. So just here to to present a little light and fluff fun. A little light and fluff fun for a little shorty. (laughs) Exactly. We are celebrating holidays in our own way. And if you have time to listen during the holidays, we just wanted to bring you something light and enjoyable. So we're going to go through all the Zodiac signs and just talk about the different holiday things and all the, I don't know, stuff that makes us think of that Zodiac sign. We're so prepared, you guys. (laughs) <laughs> well, I love this though. I love this. So yeah, that's the whole point is not let's, preparing. Let's, let's go for it. So air. Oh my God. Mimi just brought her pup up to the screen. And I know. I'm sorry. That took Such over all of my thoughts. Um, let's do, let's go for it with Aries <laughs> and holiday things. Cause Mimi, you just had one right before we started. What do you think? Yeah. As the token Aries, I feel like Aries is at the holiday party spiking the eggnog. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> And and like falling asleep beside the fire at the end of the night, just like didn't even make it to their bed. Yes. Yeah. That's the Aries kid who just like zoomed around the house for hours and hours and yeah. finally fell asleep at Passed midnight. Out. Passed beside out. Beside the fire. Don't forget that part. Yes. Always by the fire. <laughs> um, because they need to catch Santa also. Oh, oh right. I was a Santa hunter. Like is detective, the word I was looking for <laughs> detective. Thank you, but I think Hunter is more Aries. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, I can see that Aries being the one who spikes things to be like, oh, let's make mm. this a little spicier, a little more interesting, and then also oh, yeah. like the kid that completely just gave all their energy at two hundred percent, and then is passed out by the fire. Oh yeah, love it. Okay, Tori, <laughs> the little Tauruses. Tori Wari. All right, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're my buddies. <laughs> I feel like this is just from growing up, like with holiday time is like, there's one particular tourist in my family who was the bringer of the eggnog. So that's where I'm going oh. to put at least my personal experiences of tourists in there is like the the bringer of the eggnog where it's like we're not just gonna have beverages at the holidays like we're going to have quality beverages that only come out this time of year (laughs) and we're gonna I I don't know if this is what we say in English but like we're gonna profit from them you know like we're gonna really Mm, fully enjoy enjoy Enjoy. there we go (laughs) like how do we say that (laughs) so what you're saying is I am the personification of eggnog (laughs) I am saying that (laughs) oh yeah (laughs) I agree. I I actually enjoy eggnog and I can completely see why you would not, but I like it. Uh, and I also think Taurus could be the one that brings all the cookies too. Like, mm. in- thank you. I was thinking cookies. I was like yeah. those fat, juicy cookies. They're like, mm. I was like, they're going to make them. Then I was like, no, that would be the cancer, but they're standing cancer. beside the cookies. They're in standing my beside the cookies. My mother and I, two Taurus moons every holiday season, every single year, we did not just make one kind of cookie. We made five different kinds of cookies to have in the house constantly. You know, because you want to eat them. That's really, 
really valid because my mom's got a, a Capricorn Aquarius, like all of it going on in her second house. And mm. she was the baker of Christmas time. I mean, like five is, was nothing like the amount of types of Christmas cookies my mom made every single year. And the one who would bring it to every single neighbor, every teacher, every like administrative uh, worker in the school, like she was the Christmas cookie lady. And that's very second house mm. tourist. So I see it. Okay. Gemini. Oh, mm. they're the ones bouncing around, talking to everyone, catching up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I floating also, around. Fluttering floating. around. This just brings me back to that conversation where we said that Gemini's was champagne. I, I just feel like that's yeah, that, I know. that energy. Um, but also like the one who's really wanting to know like all the dirt on all the family, all the gossip, you know, like kind of mm. like we haven't seen you in this long. I want to know what's new. Like, give me all the updates. Let me tell you about my neighbors and their kids. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I only see you once a year. Here's yeah. the update. Yeah. I need all yeah. the updates. I'll I need to give you all the updates. The other vision I have when you said want to know, I thought you were going to say this, want to know what's in the presence, like shaking them, trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I am such a present shaker. Oh my! Are God. you? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. I ask for permission first because if it's obviously if it's a breakable, I want to know. Um, I'm trying to think of like acts that are holiday related that is like the persona or like that Gemini would be a personification of. Um, and I feel like writing a letter. Market? Ooh, going to Chris. What did you say, Sierra? Tinsel. Tinsel. Oh, okay. That's, that's a thing. Yes. That could be tinsel, um, all over the place. <laughs> I also think yeah. like writing a letter to Santa, like that's Gemini. Oh, yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. We get, we gave them a lot of options here. Yeah. 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 So you better right. be happy, Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cancer. Can't see. They're like cooking the dinner. Yeah. Mm. Or hosting. Oh. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. that, that goes along with cooking. Yeah. Um, also, like the wrapping of the presents, and when you're wrapping the presents, you're thinking about like your loved ones that are gonna open it, and like oh. that like thoughtfulness in there. Yeah, like, like definitely a little kind thoughtfulness. Of oh my god, I'm so excited for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like a really thoughtfully wrapped gift, as opposed to mm -hmm. like put it in a bag, which. Not saying yeah. I didn't just buy some gift bags to make it easier this year, but that's yeah. that's not cancer energy that I'm exuding right now. <laughs> oh, I actually love this for cancer, like a well-wrapped present. That is so mm -hmm. accurate. Mm -hmm. And like the present is like a homemade jam or like homemade pickled things. Mm. Like very- I like this. Very homemade, very thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. Very love filled. Leo is the one throwing the ugly sweater party, but then doesn't wear an ugly sweater and just shows up in a really pretty dress. Oh my God. Why are you doing that to me? <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. I would never wear an ugly sweater. But you would but want you would everybody else ugly sweater party. to be. <laughs> yeah, because it's fun. <laughs> Not for me, though. That was so specific, Mimi, and so on point. That was Specific. it was channeled from my guides yeah <laughs> oh my god oh it's so good oh it's so good <laughs> vergy vergy virgo Fergie. vergies <laughs> what's up with the tories and the cansies and the vergy <laughs> i don't know it's coming they're out cute too. yeah oh, oh virgo's the one who's doing like i feel like they're doing the um like christmas lights on the house where they are like, I mean, like the good Christmas lights, not like the, we threw it on a bush, oh, yeah. you know, like the one that- uh, The Christine Baranski in exactly. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Exactly. Yeah. It's That was my exact, yep. It is completely lined going <laughs> along the roof, going along the windows. Like we have the timer set for that, you know, it comes on at this time, it sparkles at this time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's also so the one who's packing the car because I always travel for mm -hmm. the holidays and like I also realized my dad's got his north node in Virgo and it just he he's he's leaning into it man because he's the Tetris master of packing the car and of the Christmas light situation so yes mm. Ooh, also the one who's lighting the menorah oh 
What? Like, like, let's keep, oh, this is our routine every day. We have to. Yeah, like, this yeah. is what we do. This is the ritual. This is our devotion. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or, like, even maybe the one, like, if your family does, like, prayers around the table, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like that could be the, that person, too. Hmm. Libby? Libby? Yes. <laughs> I feel like they're the Christmas carolers. Christmas caroling, huh, Libra? Oh. Oh, yeah, no. like looking real cute too. Yeah. They're... Bundled up in like fur covered jackets and like nice mm-hmm. gloves, white gloves. I feel like they're <laughs> also just every Christmas decoration that isn't necessarily like out, like the indoor yeah. Christmas decorations. Deco- decorating the tree. Mm. But also I... like just thinking of like Tara, Triple Libra, and my aunt Libra Moon, like the inside of their homes at holiday time is so So impeccable. It is so festive and it's just genuinely beautiful. It's so like Venusian, you know? I feel like they are Mm. the holiday decorating, interior decorating, especially just kings and queens. Yeah. I like this for them. Yeah. But I like the caroling too and like an impeccable outfit. I can see that too. Yeah, yes. all the things. We're giving people lots of options here. No one's sad. <laughs> so if you don't no want Christmas sad. caroling, you can intricately decorate your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, I was like trying not to do it again. <laughs> no, we're on it now. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> We've committed. <laughs> okay, so um, thinking of the movie Love Actually, that one character who's like trying to get with Snape um what's alan rickman oh she gives oh my god me... why did i think of mr bean <laughs> <wrapping the present? laughs> he's definitely trying to get with alan rickman oh my movie. god no the one who's got short dark yes. hair and bangs i feel yeah. like she gives me scorpio like holiday time where she's like i'm mm-hmm. gonna use this party to my advantage to do some i don't know like I, we're gonna give them something different too but i feel like that scorpio holiday energy to me is like what's going on right now how can i get like you know information out of it how can i use this situation to my advantage like who's going to the work party mm. um i don't know something about that oh okay so for the people who <gasps> haven't seen love actually we gotta give it yeah. another one too. <laughs> also okay. i feel like they'd be the one okay martha like no we're watching it together. Um, but, but also I feel like they'd be the one that like the hottest like toy item of the year, they would find the spot that has it. They would like find oh. that like, like secret little shop that they got on the list where they're like, give me the Furby, you know, like I'm getting the Furby. Mm, yeah. Like that fixed determined. Furby. I'm going to get yeah. that toy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also like the sharing of, um, like the origin of Christmas or like the watching of Tim Burton movies around Christmas time. Oh, mm-hmm. Tim Burton movies at Christmas. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is That's accurate. The moon. <laughs> no, like I don't watch them. I'm just saying that feels accurate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I also feel like there is another side to Scorpio that we always like. There is like just this, just loving, like deep, deep, deep loving, like not necessarily yeah. like the, the darker side of Scorpio that we, I feel like have a tendency to go to where they could also be the one that would be, I don't know, maybe not necessarily baking up a storm, but like they've got the perfect the perfect like gift or something for their loved ones. They like, I feel like it's a moment uh, to really show like you mean so much to me. mm. And I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like sitting on a couch with like a coffee in your hand, like watching your family unwrap presents and just like feeling Uh that like overwhelming Mm. feeling of like Uh happiness Uh or like whatever Uh family moment feels special for you. Not necessarily presents, but when it comes to gift giving versus gift receiving, gift giving is higher on the on the pleasure than gift oh, receiving for I me. Love yeah. I giving. love watching somebody receive a gift that I have like put thought and love into. Yes. Totes agreed. Martha's like, I don't Martha's like, I want presents. I want presents. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, don't do me like that. You have present, you have present stress though. I have present stress. I would be sitting there. I don't want to watch someone unwrap the gift for me. Fair. No, I will leave the room. Thank you. Oh, Thank whereas you. when I like send something to my friends or family, I'm like, call me before you open it. I want to FaceTime. 
No. Yeah. I like, I, I would love to, I need a report on if what I got, <laughs> on how well I did <laughs> on how well I did like, okay, Capricorn, you know, everything or <laughs> like, I need the success. <laughs> that also is stressful for me. I remember being a kid being like, I don't want to unwrap my presents. Cause I don't want to like have to contort my face in a way that people yeah, know what I I'm thinking. That. Oh, I, I get totally. that too. I totally get that too. Yeah, the like people are watching my reaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Helene, true Scorpio fashion, we're here overthinking our, <laughs> how people yeah. are receiving us. <laughs> I also feel like, I don't know, just my Sagittarius, everything. Like if you give me a gift that I don't like, like I'm really bad at hiding it. I But I really genuinely try. But I'm just yeah. like, why would you think that that is something that's me? <laughs> yeah. 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 But I, but then there's like the, but I appreciate the effort, but yeah. Anyways, we can get into that. But I um, know. Speaking of Sagittarius though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think for Sagittarius? The They're the ones common Sagittarius? dressed up in the ugly Christmas sweater for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's <laughs> accurate. <laughs> And also this doesn't like, I know they're not known for being musical, but I feel like Sagittarius is the one that like hires a piano player to play holiday music and doing like karaoke or just like sing along Mm. Christmas music or like they put a good Christmas playlist and they're just vibing. Christmas music is everything for me. Like when we're decorating the tree, like I need to have the tunes going, baking Christmas cookies. I want the tunes going. I don't know if that's necessarily because the Sagittarius placements I have, but I totally agree with the the musical factor. Um, but I also mm. just like like Christmas lights on things that are not necessarily Christmas trees. That feels ah, Sagittarius like to me. lights. Yeah. <laughs> so like, specific. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where do you put lights other than the tree? But like, I, I will like put it lines. literally everywhere in my home in addition to the tree. <laughs> So I feel like okay. That's that like, is you know, pretty Sagittarius. It's got to be around the window. It's got to be on the bookshelf. It's got to be you know draped across my piano. It's got to be like kind of making a little loop de loop around the ceiling. I will put it everywhere. <laughs> okay, mm. that just screamed Sagittarius. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. Like that. <laughs> you outed yourself. Oh, I, I yeah, but like, you also gladly. have a Libra midheaven, gladly. so it's intricate and it's beautiful. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it might not have to be. There is that part of me that's like, yeah, just yeah, yeah. put the lights out, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just throw get her up. up there. For Capricorn, though, I oh. want to put out there gingerbread house. Ooh, ooh, Explain. I love that. Every single year, my mom was like the gingerbread house like instigator. It was me and my best friend, uh, Karina Gemini season who, uh, came over and sometimes her brother too. And we would make the gingerbread house. Like we wouldn't necessarily bake the gingerbread ourselves, but it was, it was the kits before they came already prepared as a house. And we're like trying to build Mm -hmm. the house using the icing to like keep the walls together and decorating it. And the first time, the first time Guillaume ever came to the U S he had never built a, he'd never like decorated a gingerbread house before. And my mom was like, we have the gingerbread house ready for Guillaume. We are decorating it. And like the two of them, the little Aquarius Aww. weirdness and their Capricornness mm-hmm. together, like doing that. So I feel like gingerbread house, it's not cookies. It's like structure. of cookies. Yeah. And it's <laughs> tradition and it's, it's tradition. tradition. Yeah, tradition. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking on tradition, I also feel like Capricorn is the Sabbath, the Sabbath on during Hanukkah. Because I feel like Virgo is lighting the menorah during Hanukkah and then Capricorn is like, but we can't forget the tradition of every Sabbath. We also light the Sabbath candles. Mm. Very like traditional. Up, very traditional. Yeah. 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 And and also just the one that like, I don't know, my my dad, you know, both my parents being Capricorns, but my dad was like, you know, he drove us the five hours and all of the traffic to the family event. You know, like he made sure that like all the, you know, like these presents went to these people, these presents went to these people, everything was kind of like, I don't know, just like making sure the checklist, which is like a little bit Virgo too, but like everything Mm -hmm. that has to get done for this time, like, uh, you know, for this season, just very like the practical, taking care of all the practical holiday shits. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff going around, going on at the holidays. Like even, even like picking everyone up at the airport, the, the designated mm-hmm. driver to go get them at the airport. And my dad was yep. also the shrimp cocktail guy. Every Christmas he makes shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Ooh. So it's mm. like whatever that that traditional like, uh, just like our yeah. ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me mix this tartar sauce with ketchup as we did in the olden days. <laughs> as did Jesus on the day he was born. I mean, horseradish and ketchup. Oh my God. Yeah. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Also like thinking about other traditions like Kwanzaa, you're honoring your ancestors. I feel like that is really Capricorn too. Like the power, like you're honoring the past and like mm. where you came from and stuff. Yeah. I really, I, I do really like that. Also, my parents were very down for like, I, I think this is partially my Sagittarian culture and my Capricorn traditional self. Like I literally, I like, I needed us to have a menorah and the same thing for like Kwanzaa when like, I learned about these cultures. I'm like, I need to Mm. like learn this through experience and yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I want to celebrate it because this is a holiday that like I've learned about that needs to be celebrated. And my parents were like, okay, cool. You know, like they, you know, yeah. they, they learned a little bit about Aww. it with me for me and totally supported that. So I feel like the Capricorn tradition part of it, it's also like a, um, yeah. in an open tradition. Hmm. Wait. Okay. I love that. We just gave Capricorn so much love there. Cause it is Capricorn season. Yeah. yeah. Happy Capricorn season. Okay, Aquarius. Ooh. Oh, okay, man. they're also showing up with an ugly Christmas sweater. Just putting that out there too. Um, they're the ones that get the Charlie Brown Christmas tree instead of like a full one. Oh my that god, it's very funny because my mom has a Charlie Brown Christmas tree and she has a lot of Aquarius placements. <laughs> <laughs> Again, my guides are here today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're I also love like Charlie Brown. The the very like surprising ornament, like. It really oh. surprises me the ornaments that Guillaume appreciates in comparison to the ones I appreciate. It's always just very surprising where it's like, that's your favorite ornament? I don't know. I feel like there's there's something ornament there. I also I get think that. they could be the people buying tech gifts. You know, mm. someone's always like, here, oh. my 80-year-old <gasps> grandmother, get an Alexa. Like that's the Aquarius. <laughs> no, that's like my dad's an Aquarius rising and he's always like the gadget, like gift giver yeah. for like somebody for Christmas. Like the the thing that holds your cell phone in the car. Like that's what he gave to everybody one year. Like the little, like, uh, I don't yeah. know, so many little so like- so practical. Oh my yeah, God. That's, that's so a Capricorn good. Aquarius situation right there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Oh, the gadgets. Mm. Oh, I love that. Tech gifts for sure. Aquarius. Go, go gadget Christmas. Go go get it, Christmas. Also for Aquarius, I think they're glitter beards, like a oh. festive glitter beard. Oh, I have never seen a glitter beard, but that is very funny. I've seen pictures of a glitter yes. beard, and I I support that statement. <laughs> I think yes. <laughs> oh. Okay, Pisces. Pisces is like the one who's just overwhelmed with gratitude. I almost feel like they could be like the Christmas tree decorator, like in a way too, where it's like, this is the moment where we all come together. I don't know. And oh, they're the spirit of Christmas. I really feel like they're, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like they could, they could go back and forth between being like, you know, either we're getting ready for Christmas, like in November. Cause we're so excited or like, shit, Christmas is tomorrow. Get the decorations out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I- I'm leaning towards they're the person who sleeps in until like 11 a.m. on Christmas and everyone's like, Ugh. do we wake them up? Because I'm ready to open up presents. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My the God. Aries is pissed. That feels yeah, it's so like, real. This is not. And it's, it's like, this is the one day that I have off. Let me sleep in and be my Pisces dreamy self in a way. And everyone's yeah. like, we yeah. want to open presents. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Pisces could also be like I, definitely part of the Christmas music, you know. I think yes, they could be part yeah, of that like a that good Christmas playlist. playlist. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or like they're the ones who put the fireplace YouTube video up. I literally oh, had Beyonce. that going today, and my Venus is in the yeah. twelve. <laughs> yeah. I literally had that going all all morning before recording. <laughs> I feel like uh. Pisces is the one that's. In like not Virgo doing checklists, but Pisces is the one that's making sure everything is going smoothly, and they're like behind the scenes and making sure that like the wrapping paper is getting recycled and that everybody there's an even distribution of gifts, and they're just like I don't know. I think there's such a like sweet, yeah. I don't know. I've, I feel I love like Pisces so holiday. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're equally the person who's going around making sure that everybody's like they're checking in on like 
maybe after the Gemini's checked in on everybody where it's like, Hey, I, that seems like uh-huh. a really like, you know, intense year for you. How are you doing? But also like I have had many of that delicious Taurus eggnog, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> many of that. <laughs> yes. Yes. It is all, oh. all of the above. Yeah. Oh, well, this yeah. was fun. This is really fun. I hope that let us know what your personification of the holidays is. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a good holiday time. I hope that, you know, all the Leos out there are enjoying their beautiful outfits among the uh, ugly Christmas sweaters. (laughs) 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 And yeah. And enjoy the, the kind of beginning of Capricorn season and all the, uh, all the traditions that come with it. Hey, that makes a lot of sense, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we'll Somebody. hit you guys with regu- regular scheduled programming next week. This was regular. just a little funny. Oh, yeah. Regular. <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, Mimi, why did we talk about all these holiday Zodiac things today? Because the star on the Christmas tree made us do it. <gasps> oh. Oh.